If you are watching this video, there's a chance it's because you googled, can you mow wild parsnip? And the answer is sort of, but you have to be careful. This is a big patch where I have a wild parsnip infestation that I've been trying to get rid of, and there are too many plants to pull individually, so I've been trying to mow it. And as you can see from the short grass, this is something I mowed earlier in the season, but let's zoom in closer and take a look here. Here we have a wild parsnip plant that not only came back, but now it has seeds. So if I came through and mowed this patch again, I would be spreading those seeds and just make my problem worse next year. So conventional wisdom and pretty much everything I've read on the internet dictates that if you wait until after these plants are flowering to mow them, that that should kill them and you won't have to worry about it again. But I have repeatedly seen these tiny plants come back. So you can see these are nowhere near as tall as the, some can get six or seven feet tall, taller than I am if you don't touch them from the beginning of the season. But these small plants will grow back and still develop a small number of seeds. So again, if I came through and mowed again, then yeah, maybe I'd kill them this time, but I would also be spreading the seeds around. So this is where, like it or not, you are gonna have to pull these plants out individually if you want to get rid of them. Do not touch them directly. The whole reason you want to get rid of them to begin with, not only are they an invasive species, but if you get their sap or oil on your skin and are then exposed to sunlight, they can give you a nasty burn, so you probably don't want this stuff in your yard. So at this point, if they have seeds, wear gloves and long sleeves, pull them out individually, and then bag the plants. Don't just toss them aside or throw them in the trash, because again, or then you're just spreading the seeds somewhere else in your yard or wherever the trash winds up. But if you seal them and bag them and supposedly leave them in the sun, that will kill the seeds and then you can put them in the trash. I've been trying to get rid of this stuff for almost five years now. It is a huge pain because these seeds can survive in the ground for several years. But this is the first year I think I'm actually seeing some progress. So I will continue to document that and we will see how it goes.